I just did a two week long test with the hobbyist miner to prove a point about mining profitability because with, well, any mining hardware really, but even something like this, an ASIC miner that can only mine one single coin algorithm, the mining profitability can still vary greatly depending on how you set it up. And no, I'm not talking about low power mode or anything like that. Rather, it's all about what kind of mining pool setup you choose. By the way, this is a gold shell mini Doge 2 in case you were curious. And we've been running three of these in three different configurations for the past 14 days. And the results are actually pretty wild. All right, before we get into it, I just want to quickly say thank you to Coin Mining Central for sending this out to me and making this test possible. So it's a small miner that mines Dogecoin and Litecoin simultaneously and it could be a fun miner if you're just starting out and want something small that will stack a bit of crypto without using very much power. Coin Mining Central has also provided a $120 discount code for you guys if you do want to get it. However, just know that this thing currently most likely won't be profitable for most people mining on a residential electric rate, meaning the power to run it will most likely cost more than the crypto it mines each day is actually worth. Although you can watch this video, link in the description, on why I think the way we currently talk about mining profitability actually is a bit misleading. But anyway, if you do want something that is actually significantly profitable, that mines the same algorithm and therefore the same coins as this thing does, you can check out the Bitmain L7 that has recently been greatly reduced in price. And again, Coinman and Central has also provided an additional discount code for you guys if you do want to get that miner. And this time the discount code is for $150 off. I'll link both of these miners together with the discount codes down in the video description. And just for transparency, those links will be affiliate links, meaning the channel here does get a small commission if you make a purchase through those links at no extra cost to you. And you guys using those links is actually a huge part of how I can even afford to keep making these videos. So thank you very much. It actually does make a difference and it really does mean a lot to me. So yeah, thank you. So the main point I want to get across in this video is that whatever mining hardware you might have, do a bit of research on what options there actually are for it and then perform some sort of testing on your own for a few days because you'll be surprised by just how much of a difference in profitability there can be between different mining setups, even for something like this little box miner here. And yes, I know the situation of our test with this specific miner here is a bit unique as it mines two coins at the same time, but the point still stands no matter what hardware you have. Do some research, do some testing, and go with the option that is most profitable in your specific situation. All right, so as I mentioned, miners like these ones can actually mine two coins at the same time. And most commonly for this type of miner is to merge mine Dogecoin and Litecoin at the same time. Obviously, that greatly increases profitability, you know, mining two coins at once. But getting paid out in two different currencies to two different wallet addresses isn't for everyone. So some pools saw an opportunity there thinking some people might buy miners like this one and just want all Dogecoin and others might want all Litecoin. So in theory, what these pools do is they take the full profitability of your miner mining both those coins and then pay that full amount to you solely in the currency of your choosing. So let's just for simplicity's sake say that this thing mines $5 of Litecoin and $5 of Dogecoin per day. The pools would then either pay you $10 of Litecoin $10 of Dogecoin or $5 of each based on your preference. So the hobbyist miner and I wanted to test that concept in practice because between the two of us, we actually have three identical miners like this one. So what we did was we set one of them up to mine to a pool that supposedly pays out your full profitability in all Litecoin, one pool that pays out exactly what you mine. So both Litecoin and Dogecoin and one pool that pays your full mining profitability in all Dogecoin. We let all three miners run completely uninterrupted at the same time for 14 days straight. And after that, I collected all of the data and put it together in a spreadsheet. Oh, and by the way, if you want to learn more about how we actually set this test up and kind of what our general methodology is for running tests like these, then go check out the accompanying video on the Hobbyist Miners channel. I'll link that in the video description. And now, I'm about to reveal the results both to you and to Hobbyist Miner who also hasn't seen the results yet. So it'll be just as much of a surprise for him as it will be for you. All right, so let's cut to my call with the Hobbyist Miner revealing the results. 
Okay, so I'm here with Hobbyist Miner and yeah, uh, I've got all the numbers on the screen here. This is the first time he's actually seeing any of these numbers. So it will be a little bit of a reveal to him just as it will be to you guys. So as you can see, we have the results for our three Mini Doge 2 uh, miners here. The one mining just Litecoin on Litecoin pool, the one mining uh, LTC and Doge, merge mining it on DX pool. And then finally, the one mining only Dogecoin on Unminable. So as you can see here, hobbyist and everyone watching, we have the mm -hmm. yields for Litecoin uh, here on this row, and then we have the yields for Dogecoin here on this row. And of course, there's no yield for Litecoin on Unminable and no yield for Dogecoin on Litecoin pool. So disregarding the actual yields, let's look at the um, the revenue, right? Like the, the dollar amount. So yes, if the dollar amount of your total yield. So the light okay. for this one, the both coins for this coin and the just the doge coin for this one. And as we can see, mm. Litecoin only basically won. And wow. I'm wondering, so this is like the, we are recording this a few days after we actually finished the test. So this is yep. the dollar value of uh, all the coins on the day we finished the test. So the okay. equivalent of like getting your payout on the last day of the test, right? So like the full payout of, of the whole test. And I don't know if this is because like maybe Litecoin had a bit more of mm. just a, an average price increase during the test that we did because yeah. it kind of seems like the more Litecoin you mined, the more money you mined. Um, yeah. What's your? Yeah, I'd be curious. Sort of, uh, yeah, I'd be curious on. Yes, I'm gonna butt in here and interrupt. Great. Love so, it. Uh, <laughs> so I'm be very. Just some thoughts that come to mind without looking at any any, any uh, metrics or any charts. Is like, okay, did Litecoin have an increase? Like, if we looked mm -hmm. at Litecoin over the last like month or so, did it go up in value? Uh, was something I thought about, but. That was the first thing I thought. I was like, okay, Litecoin seems like it was a more value here, but it also makes me go, hmm, like I have a lot of my um, script miners and I've favored Dogecoin just in the past, just as an option to go. But now that I'm seeing this, I'm like, dang, man, this is, I mean, it's it's minimal, but I really like what you did with like the value at the bottom there. Yeah. Because like long-term, that's pretty significant difference. Yeah. And as like, like, cause I was looking at the, the coin, uh, values, right? Like doing the spreadsheet just now. And it did seem that like both coins were kind of just in the middle of dropping a little bit at the time we finished this test. Uh, okay. but it seems that Dogecoin kind of dropped a little bit more than Litecoin, which might be why, you know, Litecoin, uh, the value of the Litecoin we mined was still a little bit. Mm -hmm higher than the value of the Dogecoin. But I think the final row here might also be something very interesting to look at, which is kind of like, well, what if you held all the coins and then sold at all time high? And why that's um, interesting to me personally isn't mm -hmm. necessarily that I'm 100% sure these coins are definitely gonna reach their all time highs again, but it kind of shows just a little bit the potential growth that these coins can have, right? Because these yeah. are uh, prices that these coins have been at before. So they, they can reach them again. And what we're seeing there is there's definitely more growth potential for Dogecoin than Litecoin. Yeah, and I think a lot of us, you know, even like coming from the GPU mining side of things, we're looking at some of these coins, especially right now that are speculative, that are 0 0.000 whatever, and they have the most opportunity to 10x and such versus something as like Litecoin. Litecoin has been around for quite some time. Um, and so the price movements are pretty significant, but not as drastic. And so you're right, like looking at all time highs, Dogecoin definitely has that opportunity. But I'll speak for most people when it's like, when a coin is popping or when it's super uh, profitable at that like moment, like it has a huge candle, you really don't know, like, is that the, is that this highest is going to go? Is not going to go higher? Do you actually cash out? Like, those are all the hard things to decide. But yeah, I mean, I really like this. Um, this information is super informational. I think something that I know a lot of our viewers will comment in too is the fact of like pool fees. Did that come in as a major factor here? 
uh, and something to look at. I mean, not this drastic though. For lot for for row five, I don't know that pool fees would have been this significant. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think so. Um, the one thing that I guess if anyone were to to make another test like this that I would love to see is um, seeing you sort of like every single day how much did you make how much was that worth on that day because our results here is a bit skewed by the price movement on the day we did the payouts so that could uh, change the results but then again that is also a very real world scenario like you're, you're gonna pick a day to to get your payout and for us this was the result in in doing 14 day and then get the payout so what well what is the what's the conclusion here so what, what should you do so from my perspective i think you know it's a very good uh wh where my mind goes is it's definitely a value to do your testing absolutely mm -hmm. um to do your own testing i think is important try out different avenues um i'll be honest i never had i never had mine to litecoin pool before uh, it wasn't an option that i had done I've always kind of written off Litecoin. Um, it's just like, all right, it's there. It's always been there type of deal. But now that I see this, if I'm interested in the in the avenue of mining and maybe converting, so maybe Litecoin to Bitcoin, that would definitely be a better avenue I'd go with my script miners. But for me, based off of this data, and I'll be e eager to hear yours, if I'm looking to build my bags on Doge and looking at that all time high, that's another avenue to go as well. So I think for me, I need to pick and choose on my script miners. Do I want to do like Litecoin to Bitcoin um, and do that like daily? Or do I want to hold Dogecoin long term? So I think I have some questions I have to ask myself. But what about you? What 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 does this data tell you at the very end of the day? Yeah, so a very similar, I kind of draw two conclusions there too, which is if, if you want that growth potential, right? Like then go with all Doge. Like you can see that right here in, in, in this cell. But if your um, approach in, in your mining, your mining strategy is more to like mine into something and then exchange that for a portfolio that you want to hold, then it's probably might be a safer bet to mine solely into Litecoin. Just because of what I'm seeing here is that Litecoin seem to be a little bit less volatile to market fluctuations which is why it was worth a little bit more at the end of our test because dogecoin can you know jump up a lot as we see here but also kind of what we're seeing here is that it can also like when it when the market falls doge falls a little bit harder than litecoin is well that's that's sort of the conclusion that i'm drawing from from this test we did here yeah i mean great test i definitely encourage people to do their own testing and also explore these other avenues i mean you know, I had done DX pull on a mineable before in the past, but never Litecoin. So try out these different avenues and see the one that works best for you based off of your mining strategy. And it's fun to do your own testing. Yeah. So, there you go. Double, double win. All right, Hobbist, thank you for doing this test with me. Thank you for joining me on this call. That's about it.